Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos. I'm here with another case card class and it is with one of our very new uh, stamp sets and coordinating punch. Um, it's a bundle that we have at the moment and I think this is going to be very, very popular because it is just, you know, you can create something quite beautiful very quickly and I know that I'm pretty hooked on this bundle um, so let me tell you how we have made this how I've made this it is a case card and it's from Pinterest and it was um, submitted by Kelly Cle Kelly Kent and this was an on stage 2017 presentation um, I have changed it a little bit in the way that I've put the sentiment actually on the whisper white whereas um, I believe she has a uh, a sentiment you know like added on um, you know very beautiful card but it just inspired me to to have a go so let me tell you how we make it it's very very simple quick and easy and we are using our new Daisy Delight bundle which is this gorgeous stamp set and actually some really lovely a really lovely sentiment your thought thought thoughtfulness brightened my day and then thank you for your kindness and just some really gorgeous images there and then we have the daisy punch um, and it's quite big actually i'm just trying to, let me see if i can give you an idea how big that is it's one two three one two three just over three inches um, which is, you know, a big flower. It's lovely. It's lush. And we're also using the floral phrases, a sentiment, which is a very long one. I wanted a really long one. It says a special note of thanks to you. So this has also been carried over in our annual catalogue. So let me show you what I've used to make this card. So you will need a Whisper White um, card base. And this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so I will go and do this now so it's done and then um, I'm using the new uh, Daisy Delight DSP um, look at that on the other side so gorgeous look at that that is just I mean that's that's gorgeous as the card as itself isn't it look at that that's just stunning some of the the um, DSP, the, the new DSP is just fantastic, but I'm using this side today, and the DSP is five and a half by four, and then I'm using Old Olive, which is five and a half by three and a half, and then a Whisper White, which is five and a half by three and three eighths. You will need some scrap, um, uh, some scrap card as well which is the uh, Daffodil Delight and the Flirty Flamingo and the Knight of Navy so let's go ahead and do our stamping so let me do the sentiment first and I'm doing that in Knight of Navy and the sentiment is just gorgeous I absolutely love it and it is a really long look at how long that sentiment is so I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up. Make sure I have it round the right way round. And we are going to put that down in the middle. Like that. Oh, I knew I'd look. Oh, it's fine. It's just a very little bit there. I think that'd be fine. Um, let me have a look. No, we've missed it. Tell you what, I'm going to do it on the other side. I'm going to do it again. I, the O wasn't quite showing. Got to be careful with these, the clear matte ones, not to rock it. You've got to really kind of hold it in place. Okay, let's try again. And let's press down, but don't press down too hard. There you go. That's done it. That's better. See, it's a good job there's two sides. Excuse the children playing outside. Um, and while I've got the Knight of Navy, we need to stamp two of the, the daisies. So we're just going ahead and doing that now. 
that's one and two of those in the night of navy and you can actually see it see and I just need to use my stamp and scrub because um, we're using obviously lighter inks oops sorry for the wobble okay and then we're going to go in with the flirty flamingo Need to do two. Oops. Two of those, and then. I'm actually using the crushed curry rather than the daffodil delight because I thought it would, you know, show up a little bit more on the on the cardstock. Okay, so the last bit of stamping. Just going to take the crushed curry, um, but this is actually daffodil delight the cardstock, but I'm using crushed curry ink. Just thought it would give it this more sort of, uh, you know, a bit more of a pop there. That's it, and that's all of the stamping that we need to do. And now, taking your daisy punch, we're just going to punch these out. more left Right, so that is all of the punching, and then what I did was I took um, my a bone folder, and I'm just going to just curl these ends up slightly on each flower. I'll be as quick as I can doing this for you. If you um, haven't already gone and had a look at our new products, please, please, please go and have a look because we have some gorgeous new products um, that have just come out. This being one of them, and this is, uh, I think I'm going to be addicted to this one, which is a bit naughty really because I need to <laughs> go through the others. Um, right, okay. And also, don't forget, we have our first um, draw tomorrow for our giveaway, um, which is for my subscribers, and it will be person will be announced on Monday. So if you haven't um, took part, there is still time. Um, it's only Saturday now, um, and I will be doing the drawing tomorrow 
probably at midnight Monday morning so that gives everyone a chance and that is for the first one is for five handmade cards so definitely worth a go and all you have to do is um, subscribe and leave a comment in any of my videos and you will be entered and then the last one of the month is actually for a gift set some handmade cards and a notebook that's been covered with beautiful you which is gorgeous right okay so we just put some Tombow and offset those flowers okay let's just try and get that into place and again putting a bit there and just offsetting the petals I will put a link up for that um, that video if not no, I will put a link up for the video if you miss it though. Um, obviously it's in my video list. Come on. Um, there you go. So right, we've put those together. And then all that's left is for us to put the card together. So what we're going to do, we're just taking our um, DSP. I'm just going to put some... Oh, it's almost a shame to put, to put Tombow on this beautiful image there. Go. Right, okay. We're just going to pop that down like so. And then putting the old olive next. And then the Whisper White, make sure I've used the right side. That would be terrible, wouldn't it, after all that? I go and glue it down and it's the wrong side. I have done it. <laughs> right, I'm just going to pop that down like that. And then taking some dimensionals, I'm just going to pop... those on the back now I always do if I have a card like this I will always put the middle one down first um, so that you know that it's even on both sides and I kind of want that one on top so I'm going to go and pop that down like that and then this one down oops, like that and the thing I forgot to do on the other card is find them. I have some rhinestones here so I'm just going to add a bit of bling to this card because it deserves a bit of bling oh come here and I think we're going to pop another one oops where did that go down like that um, how gorgeous is that absolutely stunning 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 card um so i hope that you have enjoyed this case card tutorial very quick super quick and easy to make um and like i said if you do not have a demonstrator and you would um you know you would like to purchase any of these products then i would love to be your demonstrator and um i'll put my link to my website up on the screen in a minute so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a lovely rest of your weekend. And don't forget to, to join in the giveaway. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.